Madden players, it's your original Madden player DC. We're gonna go over my league, which I'm the Raiders in. You see me repping right here. Um, as far as the background, I'm a USC fan. Those of you who didn't know, um, I'll get some NCAA stuff up later for you guys. I took a break, sorry about the kind of doing my league stuff. So, we're gonna go over the league stuff here in this video. So let me get it set up. Okay. League rules brought to you by Shaq Strawberry Flavored Soda. Okay. The league is actually brought to you by Shocker360 in cooperation with Madden's Players, EliteGamingGods.com website. Shocker is sponsoring it. Winner gets 100 bucks. Free to enter. I think I got about four spots left. Okay. So, let's go over the rules first, and then I'll show you how you can use the website. So, the first rule, which is very simple, no quitting. You quit, you're out of the league, alright? Disconnects happen, I'll get to that later on, but quitting will not be allowed. Um, multiple cases where you quit, I'll remove you. I'll find someone else that really cares to play, cares to improve their game, and stuff like that. So we're gonna give away some free tips to league members who join the league. Well, I am. I'm gonna be giving away free tips and stuff like that this year. I normally don't wear a hat, so it bugs me. But my hair is so crazy right now. So, anyways, back to it. Um, no going for it on fourth. Okay. No going for it on fourth down. Unless. You are past the 50, that's past the 50, not on the 50. Past it, not on it. If it's inches, anywhere on the field, inches, you can go for it. If it's a yard, anywhere, or well, if it's a yard behind the 50, you got to punt it. If you're across the 50, of course you can go for it. Okay. If you're across the 50 at all, you can go for it. But behind the 50, if it's a yard or more, you got to punt inches you're going for it you can go for it if you want um you can go for it if you're uh losing by more than seven points in the second half that's not exactly seven points that's more than seven points so if you're losing by exactly seven in the third you gotta punt it if you're losing by eight or more in the third you can go for it if you're losing at all in the fourth quarter, you can go for it. Whether it's a point, three points, 20 points, whatever, you can go for it. If you're the one ahead, you got to punt it. Um, we'll say you have to punt it unless the game is on the line. If you're ahead by a point and getting the first down um, will give you the win where you can kneel, you can go for it. Otherwise, you got to punt it and play defense. Competitive league, competitive rules, that's how we do it. Um, failure to break that rule will result in dismissal from league and from the site. Um, obviously, please be intelligent about this. If uh, it happens by accident, work it out between yourselves. If it happens multiple times during a game, notify me and I will decide how to handle it. All right, don't blow the guy up over it. You talk to me, let me know. Um, keep in mind, I work during the day. So if you guys play during the day, Monday through Friday, you have to wait till I get home, but I do handle the business very well. Um, Two-minute offense rules is as follows, okay, as follows. You can two-minute offense all damn game. You really don't care about that. But once you're up by 21, you cannot two-minute offense, okay? If it's the second quarter and there's a minute left and you got the ball, you can two minute offense down the field. Totally understandable. Other than that, if you're up by 21 points or more, 21 points or more, no two minute offense at all. Very simple to follow, very simple rule. 
failure to do that, whether you're 16 and 0, 0 and 16, my best friend, my sister, my cousin, you gotta follow the rule. Okay? Moving right along. Same play rule. So along the two-minute offense, uh, we're going with the same play rule. A lot of you have uh, what is called money plays. Okay? Don't mind money plays. Run them throughout your game. Don't run them the whole game. Don't be doing one play the whole game. Don't run one play and then do your money play. Run one play and your money play. You must mix it up, okay? Um, if someone is breaking the rule, please just don't say they're running one play, okay? Um, show some evidence. Um, obviously, if I hear it from five or six different people, then it will have some weight to it. But if you're accusing someone of doing that, please send me evidence. Um, you can email me on the website, send it to my phone. Very easy to get a hold of. Um, but again, I do work during the day. So I will get it when I get off, which is around 8 Eastern. Okay? Very simple to follow. I'm off on weekends, so that makes it easy. Um, defense rule. Defense rule, very important. No fag D. For those of you who don't know what fag D is and is in the league, I call it fourth and gold D. I think it's called first and gold D. But I call it fourth and gold D, which means you drop everybody. Um, that is not allowed in this league. You must rush at least two CPU defenders. Two CPU defenders is required. That does not mean you call cover nine, which rushes two defenders, and you switch to one of them. Because then that would be you and one CPU. The rule states two CPUs must be rushing at all times. The only time you can drop back in the fag D is the last play of half which would be a Hail Mary, or the last play of the game, which is a Hail Mary. So, just so you know, okay, failure to resu will result in boot, all right? Um, CPU games. CPU games. Very simple. Very simple rule to follow. Do not play the CPU without permission from me. Okay, just because you see it say CPU, message me saying, hey, I see you have a CPU game. Do you want me to play it? Are you trying to find someone? I will let you know. Hey, yes, play it. Hey, don't play it. Uh, I'm going to find someone. I got someone. Da, da, da. That will happen probably if I have to boot someone or if someone leaves the league um, late in the season or something like that. If for whatever reason you're playing the CPU, do not score more than 50 points, all right? Um, any one of us in the league can pretty much score over 100 against the CPU. It is not difficult by any means. Um, so please keep it around 50. Obviously, if you're just, uh, what do you call it, what do you call it, what do you call it? Super simming the game, and it ends up being 52 or 53, I'm not going to boot you for that. But I don't want to see a 70 on the board or anything like that. Um... If it's an auto, if the guy is on auto, okay, I'm going to update this. Same rules apply, okay, no scoring over 50 against him, and let his team score 7. Okay, I'm going to update that rule simply for the fact that someone's busy or someone, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let him just score 7. Chances are most people that play in this league are probably going to score, um, so that's the reason for that. So same rules apply. Um, I'll notify you if they're on auto. Don't tell me, hey, my guy that I'm playing wants to go on auto. I have to hear it from you if you want to go on auto. Um, so please notify me if you can't make a game for any reason. Um, the scheduling's up on the website. Um, you're always going to know when the advances are, which is what we're going to get into here in just a moment. Um, disconnects is the next subject that we're talking about. Let's not be stupid, okay? Disconnects, you play same score, same time. That is the rule of the league. If it's second quarter and it's 21 to 7, you're running and there's two minutes left, run it back 21 to 7 with around two minutes left in the half. Same person gets the ball 
at the end of the half that won the coin toss originally. That is how it's done. Now, here's the part where I don't want you to be stupid. If it's the fourth quarter and it's 30 to 3 and a network goes out or some shit happens or whatever, obviously you're not going to need to replay that because the game is clearly over. You're not going to score that many points in that many times. With that said, if I get so many disconnects from a player, complaints, stuff like that, I do monitor all this. So if you're the guy ahead and you're disconnecting each time, I will know. And you will be booted. Um, but, you know, disconnect, same score, same time, stuff like that. Um, if for any reason you can't get in touch with your guy after the disconnect, um, don't blow him up. Don't send him 25 text messages. Call him all night. Absolutely don't call him. No calling him. Just shoot me a message. Shoot me a text message. Obviously during the day, I'm at work. So you're going to have to wait till I'm off. And when I get off, I will deal with it. Okay? Um, that is how that is handled. We're all gentlemen here. Let's play like gentlemen. Inactive rule. Okay? We're going to do inactive rule and how to contact your opponent. We're going to mesh those rules together. Um, you must be active, an active player. It does not mean if you're out of town for a week, I'm going to boot you. Please just keep in contact with me. There's a guy in the league. He goes by John Madden on the league now. But I know him as uh, Ham. Um, I don't know. That was his name. But anyways... His PlayStation broke last year, and I kept him in the league for two whole seasons simply because he texted me every day. He said what was going on until he realized he couldn't play, and that's when I replaced him. As long as you keep in contact with me, you won't be replaced. Now, here are three ways you can contact your opponent. The website, you can click M25 League, contact opponent, click on the opponent's team, and send them a message. The other way is, again, on that contact opponent, which when you see later in the video, it'll be edited where that way the, the uh, numbers won't show. But once the league starts, and I'm going to update it tonight, it will be able to show. So you can text your opponent, hey, when you want to play. And there's also group me. Your opponent has 24 hours to respond. Um, please don't wait for your opponent to text you. You must show the initiative. Now, with that said, don't text him 25 times. Don't message him 20 times. Don't bug him. Basically, don't bug him, okay? You send about four text messages in 24 hours and you don't get a response or you message him. After you try it all three ways, if you don't hear anything, notify me and I will take care of it, okay? Um, if you are inactive and you're not talking to me and you're not talking to your opponent, you're going to be removed, okay? Again, the advance is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. You should be able to play one Madden game within those times if you're in this league, okay? I don't care if you're a brother, my sister, my cousin, my best friend. Inactivity will result in a boot. As long as you text me or let me know what's going on, you'll be in the league. It's cool. So we did how to contact your opponent. Trading, 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 trading. This is going to be a cool feature on the website um, for people that come in the league late and they want to see what's happened, what people are looking for. It'll be on the website. If you click M25, you'll see a tab that says Trading Rules Trash Talk. On there, you can post your on the boards, people that you want to trade, and people that you're looking for, or what you're looking for. And there'll be a search feature. So if you want... Um, I don't know, Greg Jennings. You can type search Greg Jennings in there and you can see who wants them, who wants to trade them, stuff like that. Um, now this part I want you guys to get clear. There is a post trades section in there. You will be required to post trades that happen. Do not post them before they happen. I already see some posts in there, so and so trading. You didn't trade anyone yet because the game isn't out yet. Once it happens on the game, then one of you, only one of you, needs to go there and post it. 
So that way when we add new people and they ask, hey, who's on the team, what got traded, they can simply look on there and see who got traded. It's as simple as that, okay? You are allowed only three trades a year. Three trades a year, all right? It's not three players, it's three trades. Um, let's not be stupid, don't be trading a kicker for the first round pick or anything stupid like that. Um, if more than half the league disagrees with the trade, um, I'll ask you to remove the trade for obvious reasons. Um, I'm not a stickler with trades too much. Um, do your thing. Just don't be stupid with it. All right. You don't need to ask me if it's stupid. I'm not running it like other people. Okay. It's your team. Do what you want. But keep it within the realm. Okay. So that's all I ask. That's all I ask. Um, so don't make me monitor that more than I have to. So, also I'm thinking about, thinking about giving everyone a free scheme. We'll get into that later. Anyways, prizes. Prizes, prizes, prizes. As you know, we're going to be sponsored by Shocker360 for this league. And uh, he's paying the prize right now. It's $100 for the winner. From what I understand, that's what we've been talking about. Winner gets $100, okay? Uh, each season probably takes about a month, so he's the one sending the prize. What I want to do later down the road is I want to buy some plaques, some awards, and give them out to the MVP. I want to give them out to the Super Bowl winner, and I want to give out some T-shirts. That's the goal, okay? That's the goal that we're going to be doing. Um, if you want to be in the league, pay attention to part two of this video and you can learn how you're going to be uh, in the league. As simple as that. Uh, thank you. And enjoy part two. I will be putting up some Madden uh, videos. And I'll have some schemes up this weekend. So thank you for watching part one. And here comes part two. Alright, welcome to part two of the video. If you are new and you want to join the league, here's what you're going to do. www.elitegaminggods.com Okay? This is what will look brand new if you logged out. You can see we're going to be posting some stuff here, some stuff there as we go through the season. But here's how you get into the league and everything. Alright? You click... Um, if you just you don't have to register at first, you can click M25 League, and uh, actually I'm a liar. You do want to register, so you would click Create Account, and then you would do username, email address, password, that crap right there. Create account. It'll send you an email to confirm, and uh, you confirm the email. Then you come back and you can log in, and uh, boom. You log in. Okay. So now you're on the M25 League, okay? You're in the league. If you want to apply for the league, click Apply for the league. There you go. Um, about four spots left. If you want to see what's in the league, there's M25 League. Boom. Um, here you go. You've got the Bears, Browns, Steelers, Chargers left. 49ers and Ravens are open, but it's a free-for-all. There's about five people who still have uh, their open team so they can try and get it. So here's how it would work. So say you have your team, okay? Right here I'm going to be putting the streams which are pretty much going to be like uh, updates for the league, uh, people to watch for, teams to look out for, tips, stuff like that. That's what's going to go there. It's going to be a league feed. It's going to be awesome. You all are going to love it. Okay, as you see, here's the recent league form post, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So, here's the rules. You click the rules right here, and you click that, and that's the first part of the video that I read, um, which is the rules, okay? So, there's all that. You can go there. So, we'll go back to the forms, and we'll explain this, okay? Here's on the board, okay? These are people that are looking for on the, you know, trades. Here's the search feature I talked about. So, let's say you wanted, um, 
Let's see here. Hold up. Let me just look at this real quick. Patriots trade block. Let's say you wanted Aaron Hernandez, okay? Just I know it's a bad example, but it's the first one I saw. So you can type in Aaron. Let's just type in Aaron. Okay, boom. There you go. Aaron pops up. Aaron Hernandez. Boom. You can click on it right here. And there it is. So as it fills up, tr players you want, you can type their name in. It'll come up. That's the search feature. Okay. I know Aaron Hernandez wasn't the greatest. And then you're going to post in here your trades. That actually happened. Now here's a cool feature here. Trash talk. You can trash talk on the site about the Madden abilities, okay, of the, your opponent, your upcoming opponent, the league, uh, not necessarily the league, but, you know, your conference, stuff like that. Keep it Madden. I'm talking about no one's mom, sister, cousins, baby mama's baby mama, stuff like that, okay? Let's keep it towards Madden, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much where that section goes. Apply there. To contact your opponent via website. Boom. Contact list. Click to contact list. Boom. It's all listed right there. You play the Houston Texans. Open it up. It goes to their page. You send them a message. Okay. What's also cool is where it says NFL football team. That will actually be their PSN and then their phone number. To text them. No calling. To text them. So I'll be updating that. Only league members have access. So if you're not in the league, you don't have access to this page. Um, and I'll show you that in a moment. If you want to see your schedule, which I'll be updating later tonight or this weekend, here you go. Week 1, Baltimore plays the Broncos. So you're always going to know what it is. I'll be updating the scores as we go through. I'll put up Week 2, whatever. This is only Year 1, as you see right here. And we're going to update that. Let's contact your opponent, whatever. All right, go back to the forms. This is actually the home um, right there. So, so your safety is secure. Let me show you what it looks like for other users who are on the site who aren't league members. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll go uh, log in. Double click. We'll log in under the test account here. Did you see? Test account. Okay. We will go under league. Um, what did I say? Contact list. Boom. It's denied because you're not in the league. Okay. That's how the site works. And if, you, if you're wondering who's sponsoring the league, you can always click Madden Battles. It'll bring you back to MaddenBattles.com. Okay. Which I'm not. As you see, I'm registering the Madden players under this one. So, there is that. And just so you know, there's Shocker's posts. Um, right there is the league. If you're interested in the fantasy football, right here, you can go back to Elite Gaming Gods, which you see on Madden Battles as well. And let's say you want in the fantasy league, okay? You're going to click fantasy. I got two spots open, I think. It is free to join, free to join, and the winner of the Fantasy League, the ESPN Fantasy League, gets one year of VIP membership. That's this year's Madden and next year's Madden. Um, so two spots left, fill it out to join. That is pretty much it. If you want some schemes right here, I'll be posting a free scheme this weekend as well as other schemes. Here's a free scheme zone. Um, once you pay for a scheme, if you say you want a scheme, you looks by Madden players. Let's say you pay for my Seattle Green Bay scheme, which one of you has paid for. You click and you buy it, and it'll pop up right here. It'll say it. It'll say it right there. Request a scheme is coming soon, so watch out for that. Um, that's going to be uh, I don't know, 10 bucks each time. Thank you for watching this. Uh, if you want to apply for the league, all you got to do, go to EliteGamingGods.com. Click the M25 League banner right there. Click Apply for League. And I will get it right there. Thank you for watching. It is Madden Players. EliteGamingGods.com is brought to you by YouTube.com slash Madden All Stars and MaddenBattles.com. 
Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the league. A few spots left. It's Madden Players reminding you it is not about being the best, but being better than you were yesterday. And we'll two more things before I leave. You can click this live stream tab. Okay? I'm going to be doing live streams on certain nights. I'll post my schedule this week on how we're going to do that. So there's the Madden Players one. Um, I'm going to shout out to Showbiz later on. And if you ever want to get a game with me, NCAA or Madden, you can click this Play Me tab now. And there you go. You fill that out. I'll try and schedule a game with you. It might go up. It might not. But there you go. And look out for in a couple weeks the subscriber challenge. Last year's winner was Apollo. He has a free year of this year's scheme. So shout out to him. But we're going to roll with it again. Um, so look out for the subscriber challenge coming in a few weeks. Thank you for watching this. And hope to see you in league. It's Madden Players. And we out.